Britain has been forced to gorge on mass immigration like a racially tolerant foie gras goose. We were told that we would be richer economically and more enriched culturally. Well, we're now poorer per capita, and I don't think that many people feel particularly enriched anymore. Former Home Secretary Suella Braverman thinks assimilation has failed. If you take a, a hard, honest look at our country, uh, we have towns and cities around the United Kingdom where multiculturalism has failed, where communities are living parallel lives, where people come here and they don't speak the language, where they come here and they don't want to take part in British life, they don't want to integrate. And in fact, they, they actively loathe uh, what Britain stands for. And they are in Britain, but not of Britain. Why did that happen though? We dumped a load of other cultures into Britain and didn't bother to protect our own. And then we were too afraid of being called racist to push back. I think um, many politicians don't like talking about cultural um, challenges. They don't like um, saying that certain communities are not signing up to the British way of life out of fear of being called racist. Mm. And it's that, that um, you know, that uh, readiness generally by the left to jump on anyone who might utter something in, uh, like that and call them a racist, a bigot, a xenophobe, has a real chilling effect. Well, what has this culminated in? Listen very closely to what Mrs. Bravman says here. We need to start talking about why we are not able to produce this cohesive society which can unite behind a set of inspiring British values. Why are we living in a country where there are ghettos, there are people who are not living uh, and subscribing to British values? Why do we have many people here who loathe our country and want to see the destruction of Western civilization? Uh, why are the authorities appeasing this sentiment? Why do we have so many people who loathe our country and want to see the destruction of Western civilization? Well, it's a good question. She thinks minority groups should do Brits the common courtesy of trying to assimilate. Also do need to ensure that minority groups subscribe to uh, a unifying view of what it is to be British and what's made this country great in the past. How do we make people assimilate, though? I mean, that is the question, isn't it?